looks like everything is set now with regards to the processes, the ballot, and everything. And the Electoral Commissioner has said that the process has been transparent so far, and the Electoral Commission in and of itself does not have the, um, cannot rig any election. Uh, that those were the words of uh, Madame uh, Jean Mensa yesterday. What are the issues that jump at you from, from the processes so far? Now, uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning to my good people in Southdine. I uh, just arrived. Now, it is not about the fact that we are saying EC will rig the elections. That's not what we are saying. We are saying that by the conduct and the nature of the structures that they have put in place, they will facilitate the rigging. No difference is that. No, there's there's a difference. <laughs> there's a difference. Especially when your when the when the when your flag has insistently made the point that a flawed election is not something that the NDC will accept. Yes, yeah, exactly. Does that not fit into a certain no, narrative? No, and, and a flawed no. election is not an election to be accepted anywhere in this world. And then that's the principle we must accept and be guided by it. What are we saying? This EC told us that the registration that they will conduct will be free, fair, and to a very, very great extent will be devoid of errors. Those were the expressions they came to use in Parliament and got everything approved for them. When it was time for registration, in a COVID era registration, they reduced the mandatory 21 registration days to six days. And, and, and this was something that didn't catch the attention of a lot of people. They are supposed to remain at the polling station registration center for 21 days. They did so for six days. They did shifting cultivation. And you think that we shouldn't complain about this? Two, when they did the initial registration, EC itself came out to tell us that they had registered 16.9 million Ghanaians. At the, 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 at, the, at the last meet the press before what they did yesterday, isn't the EC mentioning a figure of 17.6 million? That's as a result of the mop up that was no, conducted. They, no, have, they have made that point no, very clearly. That time we are not we are not completed the mop up. No, no we are not completed the mop up. We have not completed the mop up in addition to the, the one day limited registration they did, which was happening in the course of an exhibition of a register. So, so a lot of the issues have been thrown into a confused state. You don't conduct a limited registration when you are exhibiting an existing register or a register that you have just compiled. Because you see, the exhibition is supposed to have been done at the end of the compilation to ensure that all corrections and amendments were made. Then the final register would have been produced. So is the EC going to do another vote, uh, exhibition of the register after the compilation, after the compilation of the limited registration? And I expect that you journalists will ask such questions. Because then it means that we have another exhibition to go through. But by looking at the circumstances exactly, and the time. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and when you raise these issues, the EC board speaks, speaks to you in a very a condescending manner. We are raising critical issues. She, she's calling us naysayers. How do you speak to people like that? But she also said she gave, she has given the opportunity uh, countless times. I mean, the last time when the, yes. end, uh, the general secretary of, of, of the NDC yes. filed, yes. filed the um, nomination papers for, yes. for candidate Mahama, yes. was given the opportunity to, to make comments, and those comments were addressed at that, at that forum. Yes, but so you so, don't... So which, it, other, which, no, other, so you which don't other medium again does the NDC want for, to vent its you know, grievances with this system you know, that's currently in place, no, Roxy? Uh, I am telling you that, Duke, you don't come back yesterday and call us naysayers. She should be able to accept the criticisms in good faith. We have voted money for the exercise. If there are issues we are raising, and she has said that there are real issues. Let, let, let's make progress. You don't call us naysayers. It's unacceptable for her to speak to us like that. And that's, that's one. The other issue that I am shocked my brother hasn't raised, and we want to give this EC a clean bill of health, is that 
for the first time, voter ID cards have been produced with corrupted numbers all over the place, to the extent that ECE itself is now producing new ID cards and, and calling people to return to their various uh, EC offices to retrieve the new ones and leave the old ones with corrupted numbers. Not in, not in one region, not in one district. All over the place. If I did themselves issue the bulletin and mention as many as 111 cons constituency offices or district offices, and that is also unacceptable. One other issue that we have raised is the fact that the BVD machines, that they came to tell Parliament that it was a machine they would deploy during the registration to ensure that the register for, for the first time to, to their satisfaction will be biometric. To the extent that they will even deploy uh, facial recognition technologies. I registered in my constituency. I have 68 polling stations. They, they brought us 11 DVDs, 11 out of 68, just 11. So the register in Southern, is it a biometric register? My brother. That's a question for them. Is it a Electron biometric register that we can properly call it so? And nobody in South that went through facial recognition technology to get registered. So, so the hue and cry about the use of facial technology and they use it to bastardize the whole register didn't lead us anywhere. And, 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 and we are scandalized to hear that even though these are topical matters, will be called, for reasons that will be called naysayers. We also say, that if you look at if you look at the issue of the pandemic, she came to parliament to assure parliament that she would deploy the use of PPEs. I never saw any PPE. Well, at, at, at some point, <laughs> people came to the stations. That, Hold on. This is, this is oh, it, 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 it may be an isolated Duke, case in your constituency, Duke, Duke, but from the monitoring Duke, and the reports that Duke. we've done. Duke. Those, those protocols were, Duke. were, were, Duke. were adhered. My, my brother, we were told that Widespread. we supply PPEs to people when they come to queue to register. Nobody in South Dine got PPE from EC. People were turned away to go and look for their own PPEs in order to come and register. But she came to Parliament to say so. She asked for more money. Don't let us trivialize this man. These are serious issues. If you ask Parliament to give you more money to do something and you don't do it, we have to question you. She didn't give anybody PPE to come and use and queue. People were turned away. They had to go and look for their own face masks and come and queue. So, as much as people will want to become the PROs of EC today, we have raised critical issues that need to be interrogated. And above all, we have stated that she should not roll out structures that will facilitate rigging, because we will not accept a flawed election. As we speak, she has issued a memo detailing the transfer of votes. Do you know the nature that process, of the transfer? That process is supposed to be started today for students and security yes. officers beginning yes. today up to Thursday. Exactly. That is something that happens even this year. Duke, it's, it's restricted Duke, because of the Duke, abrased sense of time you are jumping in the pandemic. The yeah. Yes. Why, why would the vote transfer be limited to only students and security people? I think that justification was provided. Why? That justification was provided no. because of... The, the situation in which put we find ourselves in the, the, situation. the COVID era. No, the fact, the put movement. situation. You have allowed, you, you have said that even though you open registration for a, uh, for, a, for a number of days, you have said that because others who were not able to register because, because of the pandemic and so they were, they found themselves outside of Ghana and persons who immediately turn 18 after the closure of the date of registration, you still open one day for them to register. So you, you, can, make, you can make concessions to others. And yet you are not willing to, to allow somebody who, by virtue of, 
of transfer from officialdom is relocated within the period to transfer his vote, you limit vote transfer to only students and security people. What about the generality of the people? People who want to simply transfer their votes to where they, they, they ordinarily find themselves residing now. So those things are not acceptable. And the CI frowns on you. Don't, you don't do partial application of the law. Vote transfer should be open to all. Vote transfer should be open to all. You don't limit it. Okay. And deprive others and create problems so that tomorrow they, 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 they have had to travel long distances in order to go and cast their vote. So the EC should stop calling people naysayers and sit up. Okay. Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.